baseball fans and welcome we've got a perfect day for baseball it's the Miami Marlins taking on the St. Louis Cardinals first pitch coming your way next so almost ready to get underway our starting pitcher in this one Jordan Montgomery with the height the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches so coming into the zone really hard for the hitters to get on plane makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess Okay, all set to go. Here's a speed threat. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. The why to kick the pitch. That misses. And we're underway from St. Louis. Next offering is in for a strike. They must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And a count one and two. Some nuggets on Jazz Chisholm. He's from the Bahamas and he was born in 1998. Signed with the Diamondbacks in 2015. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The old one. And a good eye there. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Luis got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Luis arrives in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. It's interesting. You have spring training, wonderful weather, and then most teams go north, and it's chilly, so hitters have to kind of get through that for the first month and a half, and then everything evens out. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next offering in the dirt. Now one and two. How much did your dress change when it would get cold or when it would be cold early or late in the season? Well, early in the season, Boog, I'm taking a top coat, you know, on the road and uh, trying to look cool. Yeah. Oh, oh you're talking about. No, I'm talking oh, about you the, as a player. When you play back, oh, you know, way oh, back okay. in the day. Oh, all right. I thought you want to know about my travel gear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you go with some long sleeves early on, and sometimes it can be a little uncomfortable, a little cumbersome, but you get used to it. But it's great when you can come out there and let the guns just hang out. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. First pitch, and he just misses. Brown ball to the right side. Goldie steps on the bag. Marlins leave one. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, getting the nod on the mound, Sandy Alcantara. 
Well, he's got such great discipline in between starts, taking care of himself, making sure he's lifting, his stamina stays high. He's a guy that wants to finish every start that he makes. Now, we know that's not quite possible, but he's well conditioned to throw over 100 pitches effectively. I think if you're on the other side, you've got to try to have lengthy at bats, run that pitch count up, and perhaps get him out of the ball game early. He's kind of a rare pitcher in today's game. We'll see what he's got in this one. In the air, left field, down the line, and it's just foul. Alcantara, multi-time All-Star, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. And there's one away. Batting second, the left fielder. Tyler. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh, he geez. is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He was all over that one. Just kept it simple. Played Batting Pepper third. with the middle of the infield the and baseman. took it back where it came Ball. from. And there's just no oh, one there to Smith. knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice line drive to no full side. Met it out far, oh, but just stayed out. through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One down, and up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. That smash towards center. Chisholm makes the play, and there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but that sometimes you hit it too hard the and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop Gun hits to get a knock right. sometimes. So first and second with two outs. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And first offering is fouled off. O'Neill, the lead runner out at second. Goldie on at first with two now. And that one ripped into right. And that's a base hit. And the Cardinals score first. It's one zip. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. But they push across one run on three hits, no errors, and one left. It's on to inning number two in St. Louis. It's the Cardinals one and the Marlins nothing. New inning getting started. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And Garcia gets a piece. And now the lefty. That misses. And one and one. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it, the umpire rolls with him. The wind and the pitch. That misses, and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. On the ground. Sends it to first. One out in the second. Batting six. The third baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. to the right side and he can't come up with it close play but in there saying it looked like he might have beat it in real time but that play was really close so they want to take another look 
Yeah, this is a tough decision. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They That's took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for it. First phase has been overturned and the John Birdie at the plate. Out. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Strike on the inside corner. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. and misses it's a strikeout nothing doing for the Marlins still behind by a count of one to nothing back here at Bush Stadium here's the center fielder Dylan Carlson he has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Puts it away for the out. Batting seven. The right fielder, Lars Newtbar. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Juan Yepes. Next up for the Cardinals. Bounce to the left side. Birdie collects, gathers, and throws to first. That ends the inning. Redbirds down quietly, but they still lead it 1 0. And welcome back. Leading now the left the fielder, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz measures six feet two inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup and he was born in the Dominican Republic in for a strike strike one where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic Vladi Big Poppy Pedro the list goes on and on and that one fouled off one. next offering misses one and two to count two strikes Got him. And one away in the top of the third. Well, just ripped a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that, that pitch at the hip okay. and just watch it Thank jump you. back over the inside oh. part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Jacob Stallings now. Montgomery in his sixth season 30 years old now and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014 the pitch that one misses and that is ball one popped in the air left field 
O'Neal pulls that one down two up two down the center fielder number two Jazz Chisholm Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jr. now you know it's no surprise that Jazz Chisholm Jr. is good at baseball his grandmother Patricia Coakley actually played shortstop for the Bahamian national softball team and get this she didn't retire until her 60th birthday she started to play soft toss with Jazz when he was only two years old. Swing and a ball lifted left field. O'Neill drifts towards it. And that will end the inning. And one, two, three go the Marlins. They still trail one nothing. Back here in St. Louis, stepping in, Parker. Brendan Donovan. The second baseman, Brendan Donovan, a former Donovan. Gold Glove winner, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. And it's fouled away. Alcantara, the tall righty, 200 pounds, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. Up the middle. Over to Cooper. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. That's what a good now sinker's batting. designed to do. Get a guy to roll over Tommy. a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill Head some worms there. while you're at it. Back to the top of the lineup. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tommy Edmond. Flied out his first time. First offering and it just misses. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Up next for the Cardinals, the left fielder, Tyler. And stepping oh, in dear. is the speedy Tyler O'Neill. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a foul ball. Tyler O'Neill, you look at that frame and you know he's got some power, but also an excellent defender. He's won multiple gold gloves. But speaking of that frame, his dad Terry was the 1975 Mr. Canada top bodybuilder. Grounder, that's through for a base hit. Now batting. First Here's Paul hit. Goldschmidt. Paul. One for one with a single Goldschmidt. so far. Goldie, over 1,000 runs batted in in his career. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Ground ball right side. Arise on the first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. The cards leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Jorge Soler. Soler. 